In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get embeddings from the best embeddings model that is available right now. Now I'm gonna show you guys a general leaderboard that is updated all the time to know the best embeddings model for your category and your use case, and also show you guys how to use them in the most simplest way possible. We only have three steps over here, and this can be applied to any embeddings model that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this tutorial. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, first thing you guys have to do is go to MTEB leaderboard. This is a hugging face leaderboard where they post the best models almost daily or weekly showing which is the best performing model right now for embeddings based applications. Now over here, there are different categories. We have overall, bi-text mining, classification, clustering, and many other categories. And they post them whenever a new model comes out. Now over here, you have different multilingual models for different categories. Here for classification, you have another set of models that are performing clustering and many others. You even have like the best performing retrieval model that's available right now. And from these different categories, you guys can see that the NV Embed V1 is mostly dominating majority of the use cases. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this model. Now this model actually got released of May 24th, 2024, which is only a few weeks ago. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So first thing you guys have to do is install the packages that are listed over here. So you have to install transformers, EIN, ops, and then of course the data sets. Now I don't think you need these data sets over here, so we're gonna ignore that. So let's install them. And while they're installing, I just want to mention that I am using a Google Colab instance with the L4 GPU. I believe it's a free GPU. Now once those are installed, you may have to install Hugging Face Hub CLI and log in to pass in the Hugging Face token. That will allow you to download some of these models. As this specific model that we, I'm gonna show you guys, you actually have to seek authorization to use it. Now, after you've done that, we're going to load our model. Now, I've already set the token in my environment, so I don't have to worry about that. By the way, you can set the Hugging Face token over here in this area, if in case you guys were wondering. Now we're going to load this model. Okay, this is actually asking the data sets package to be installed. So we're just gonna install that real quick. And now we're going to load our model. Okay, now we can actually encode our sentences. So over here, I've defined some queries. The next thing you guys have to do is define the embeddings max length. So how big your embeddings or you want your embeddings to be. And then we're going to define the query embeddings model.encode our queries that we have posted over here. So this will batch create embeddings and also define the max length over here. And then we can take one extra step and normalize the embeddings to the dimension that we want to have. Now, this is an optional step that you guys can use for use cases you want. You may want to use it to classify them, make semantic similarity search, or do other applications of these. And there we go. There we have the embeddings for our queries. So different models have different settings on how to get their embeddings. And sometimes this code that I've showed you guys, only a few handful of times it could may it could or may not work. And that's okay, you don't need to freak out. Just go to one of these examples over here. Usually they provide the code to how to get the embeddings from them. So for example, from here, they show you guys how to get the embeddings. Some are easier, some are harder to get, but nevertheless, there's always some sort of support to get them. All right guys, so that is a quick tutorial on how to get the best embeddings that is available currently right now as of 2024. Hopefully this was of some value. If you guys found this insightful, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, have a nice day.